Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It has been a while. I was traveling around New Zealand for two and a half months and just did not have the time to create these videos. Today I want to kick it off with talking about planning the trip to Chicago Basin. Chicago Basin is this beautiful area in the San Juan Mountains or the Wemenuch Wilderness. It is very close to Durango, Silverton, in the southwest corner of Colorado. The Needle Creek Trailhead is the main trailhead you access to actually get into Chicago Basin. You can access this two main ways. The first way is to take the train. Now this is quite an experience in itself and I highly suggest it. You will need to plan ahead as you need to get a reservation. They only allow a certain number of hikers on the train every day and so it's important to call as soon as you can. Just one of you needs to call and find a reservation number and then other people can join in later. A key thing to remember there is once you pay, they will not refund you your money. So just keep that in mind with the train because it is a little bit pricey, but the experience of it is worth it and I honestly suggest this option. If you decide not to take the train and want to hike in, the popular way was to take from Purgatory Flats. So a lot of people parked at that trailhead and hiked the nine miles in. For us, the train was more of an experience and it added to the whole adventure, but we understand that it's expensive. Once you get to Needle Creek Trailhead, whether that was by train or by hiking, you'll cross the river immediately on this beautiful suspension bridge and then start your way ascending into Chicago Basin. You'll hike about five to six miles with about 3,000 elevation gain along the river up to Chicago Basin. The distance really depends how close you get to the actual basin. There's a trail that goes up and over the mountain and there's one that goes into the basin up to Twin Lakes. So you wanna make sure that once you get close to that fork that you are really looking for a camp spot. Be a sign that says no camping any higher than this point. Really pay attention to those campsites. It's really obvious once you get up there, you're like, oh, there's a campsite, oh, there's another one. Find the best spot for you and get settled in for the first night. Once you have camp set up, you have a few options. You can just hang out. You can hike up to Twin Lakes or you can hike the 14ers and 13ers that are around the basin. I do suggest if you have the ability and the time to at least go up to Twin Lakes at sunrise, sunset, and hang out there. It is a beautiful, beautiful area. There's beautiful two little blue lakes just in the basin around the mountains. It is a gorgeous area and definitely worth the trip up there. We ended up doing the 14ers and they were really incredible, but I want to warn you that they are class three and four. There is scrambling involved in all four of the 14ers and they are not the easiest of the 14ers. So this is not a trip meant for someone who just started doing 14ers. You wanna come prepared and have some experience with third and fourth class climbing. Make sure to wear your helmet, be safe, go in a group and bring a GPS or a beacon of some sort just in case something happens. Another thing to consider is time of year. You're probably going to be wanting to look at that July, August, September time, which is not a lot of time to fit that in, but it's really worth it and I would suggest checking it out at those times. If you want to go earlier or later, just please keep an eye on the snow and the weather, especially if you're looking to do any 14ers or 13ers or even go up over Columbine Pass. Chicago Basin is truly one of my most favorite places that I have backpacked here in Colorado. I love that I can now share that with you. If you have any extra questions or anything that you want me to elaborate on, please write it in the comments below. Like and subscribe so that I can share this with more people. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I will see you next time. Well, that was miserable. <laughs> Not the most fun thing ever. <laughs> I'm good. Look how much hail piled up right there. And so much hail.